Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, The Mighty Bjorn, and today for you I have an Armored Warfare replay featuring myself in the Martyr II. This is PV Hardcore Operation Sapphire, and I'm sure some of you are surprised right now. For those of you who have watched me stream Armored Warfare, you're probably well aware of I do not actually have very much love for the Martyr II. But enough of that, let's dive on in here. We'll talk a little bit about the Martyr 2. I'll also be starting off my talk with the Martyr 1 because the Martyr 1 kind of leads into the Martyr 2. And actually this vehicle, the Martyr 1 at this point, actually wasn't still to be in service, but there's a whole schmeal about that, and I'll get into that here in a bit. The Martyr 1 translates as Martin. Martin is a IFV hailing from Germany at the time when Germany was split into two. East Germany was a satellite state of the Soviet Union, while West Germany was an ally of NATO. In the 1970s, West Germany was in a state of rebuilding its military. One of the said aspects of rebuilding its military was designing military vehicles. Leopard 1 was one of these vehicles, as well as the Martyr 1. Entering service in 1971, the Martyr would serve as a IFV for the Panzer Grenadiers, mechanized infantry for my non-German speaking audience. The Martyr would have some very interesting design features. The turret was set off to the right of the vehicle. There was also a rear-facing MG-34 machine gun and a remote turret. Now, later models would not have the remote turret. The vehicle could carry up to 12 Panzer Grenadiers. The Martyr was equipped with a 20 millimeter automatic cannon. It was also equipped with a coaxial MG-34 machine gun. The vehicle was made of a welded steel construction and it provided NBC protection as well as being amphibious. It was powered by an MTU MB 833 engine, diesel engine. The engine was mounted on the left side of the vehicle towards the front. Now with the introduction of the Leopard II in 1979, it was decided to develop a new IFV that could feature similar mobility and higher protection qualities to its crew. The requirements were drawn up in 1987 and a contract was awarded to Koss Mafi to develop a prototype. The vehicle was delivered in 1991 and tested. It would feature armor that is said to withstand 120 millimeter rounds. The armor was of a composite design, so it could also withstand heat and ATGMs. The turret was fitted with a Rhyme Metal RH-503 autocannon. That being said, the newer Puma, which is, has replaced the Martyr, although I believe it's still in the process of, of replacing the Martyr, mounted a very similar gun. Or sorry, mounts a very similar gun. The gun could be fitted with a 35 millimeter barrel or a 50 millimeter barrel. The prototype weighed in at around 43 tons, weighing more than some MBTs of the time. The engine was mounted towards the front on the left side again and it was an MTU MB833 turbo diesel engine. The engine could produce around a thousand horsepower, given a pretty decent power to weight ratio. The vehicle had a crew of three and could carry six Panzer Grenadiers. In 1991 the prototype was delivered and tested. The vehicle was considered successful and it was set to begin production. However, with the fall of the Berlin Wall, the end of the Cold War, and the reunification of Germany, production of the Mortar II was canceled. Pretty much one of those too little too late. As an interesting turn of events, replacement of the Mortar I has begun as of 2010 with the Puma. The Puma has many design features and qualities of the Mortar II prototype and the survivor, surviving prototype can be found at Koblenz Military Collection. 
So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Martyr II here in Armored Warfare. It is a Tier 8 Premium IFV. I have not played it very often because it makes me feel greasy every time I play it. That's neither here nor there. It is actually a pretty good IFV. And at one point in time, it was arguably one of the top Tier 8 vehicles in the game. Now, has, as some mechanics have changed, time has rolled on. Some vehicles have gotten buffs. It's not quite as good as it used to be, so I feel a little, let, little less greasy about playing the Martyr II, but I still feel pretty greasy. Um, it is actually pretty decent. The only thing I really don't like about the vehicle is, is like the acceleration feels really sluggish and doggish for being an IFV. However, that being said, the Bradley's kind of a dog too when it comes to acceleration as well. But it does actually have a decent top speed. It's got decent view range. I do not have optics on this vehicle. Um, and the 50 millimeter auto cannon is actually really good at this tier, uh, especially if you load it up with a lot of Pele. That being said, I've never played the vehicle in PVP. I don't know how it performs in PVE compared to PV, uh, PVP. And, well, mostly I haven't gotten to try because I just haven't wanted to. Hard enough for me to get PvP, let alone I don't want to play PvP in a vehicle I don't want to play. Anyway, folks, that being said, let's go over the results here. I did 17,636 damage, spotted 15 enemy vehicles, and destroyed 9, and grabbed myself the blue star. Yes, greasiness is set in again even as I talk about the results. And I would be top damage overall and number two for spotting. That is without spotting equipment, folks. Anyway, folks, that is my replay of the Martyr 2. And uh, yeah, my opinion of this vehicle is still fuck this thing with a pineapple. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and have yourself a wonderful day.